Here we go with the NASDAQ 100, 11.09 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7.18 calendar 2012. What do we have before us? A NASDAQ 100 up 34.0 handles. Look at that. And it's 26.25.57 and we're trading a 26.50 put. That is going to trade quicker because this put is deep in the money right now where the NASDAQ 100 is. And it's right here. And it's $26.24. So it's $25 in the money now. And I can tell you, look at that bid. NASDAQ is here now. And that three minutes maybe pivy is getting broke to the downside MMT. And it's live and it's real. And they close at 62.20 with a 42. So they marked them down. But that opening high was 42.90 on the contract. And how do I buy it? Well, right here on a reversal, on an intraday where it's been a one-sided bull tape all day long, without a reversal. And what are we looking for? The very wholesale bid. The last print was 34.30. Now MMT. MMT. Okay, Brian Plain, front and center. 2580, Kareen, you get behind them on a lower bid at 22.6. And it's $3 wide almost. Now, you're at 2180. Just bring up, just leave that there and move on there and put it out at 26 and make it a less than a $3 between the bid and ask. And I'm live here in the bid and ask with the NASDAQ 100 on a three minute reversal bar. Right there. Mm -hmm. So here, let's move all of this over here. And it's all about how do I get wholesale on a NASDAQ 100 contract. And it's a 26.50 put. So what? It expires tomorrow at the close. The thing about it is, once again, I have him up there bidding at 26. Someone's lying, and I lined the whole market now. 28.90 over on that ask. And why? Why won't anyone throw that side? Because this green or red bar from the green bar here with this red bar here is called a reversal. So that raises the bid up. And I raised them up to 26. It's two and a half dollars wide with the nine dollar and fifty cent range. Buy and wholesale on the NASDAQ 2650 put deep in the money and how to trade on that. What? Thursday at the close expiration, which is tomorrow. And how do I get wholesale and sell it back with a profit so that when the NASDAQ 100 does get its intraday reversal, I walk away. So why does this premium run so much faster? And there's your three-minute reversal here live right now on this three-minute chart. Here it is now. Keep your bid there. It's two and a half dollars wide. Once again, the MMT market maker is taught how to Get that print. He knows 80 cents is below him. There's 20 cents difference here and now. But it's two and a half wide. He's got to get that two and a half dollar. And he's only going to take one contract. But that would be the low of the day. And there will be no one lower than that print. Than the SMF market maker. It, the time is 11.12 a.m. And the date is 7.18. And it's 2012. With a very, very nice upside bull tape in play. With a final reversal that's trying to come into play. Using a 26.50 put, which is $25 in the money. And you can see the bid and ask ranges here. MMTs in the 26.50 put. But because you would be the low of the day, you would have the lowest dollar cost capital risk entry. And anyone else out there and the truth is before our face right now the wholesale price is always the truth price is truth because that means that my capital dollar risk is very minimal compared to the people that owned them at sixty two dollars and forty up here that got marked down from forty two dollars all the way down to my wonderful entry that means that once again how do I take advantage of markets and high frequency trading? We are experts on that. We have lots of subjects like that. And we will teach you how to work the mechanics and put these markets in your favor.
instead of them taking advantage of you.